YouTube again. Um, this is really going to be about 2012. Um, the reason being is so many people are asking what are my I don't know, predictions, what are my feelings on 2012. So I'll tell you my feelings on 2012. First of all, we're coming to the end of an age, the end of a great cycle. I believe that currently mankind is going through the transitional period as we start now. Um, the world is changing, um, people are changing, people are waking up, the Earth's frequency I think is increasing, the magnetic field has decreased. Um, if a frequency increases it becomes less dense, if it's a low frequency it's more dense. I believe the world is going to change in such a way that we all will remember because we've, we've been there before. Mankind's asleep. Mankind is becoming conscious. Unfortunately, the way the world is now, we consume. If you look up the word consume, it means to use up. What's the most commonest word you hear in the media? Consume. Because of the consumers. Oh, well, there's not as many consumers as there were before. We consume. The thing is, is though, if you take from the earth, you put back. Like if you if you pick a seed, you sow a seed. And this is the kind of thing that mankind's forgot. It's forgot how to love. It's forgot how to share. It's forgot how to forgive. It's forgot how to not judge others. It's forgot how not to be jealous. It's like my girlfriend, right? If we're out and someone's ironing up, I understand, I fancy her. That's flat, flattery to me. It isn't, it isn't sort of like, <laughs> it's not sort of someone stepping on my territory. If I know that my girlfriend feels threatened, then that's when I'll be protective, not jealousy. This is, this is where, like, and, you know, at work, like, oh, he's had a five minute more long tea break than I have, so what? You have five minutes longer then. Just have five minutes longer. Don't, you know, oh, but he's got it, but I haven't, he's got... This is the problem with the world. It's all, it's all self, 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 self. Your intent needs to be good. It need to share, to love, to, to, uh, to be one, to, to, you know, it's like a family, you know? And Let's add a bit of spin to that, you know, David Icke talks about the reptilians, you know, there's a few more species, um, humanoids, um, if you like, um, think of the Earth as a genesis, you know, you're on another planet, you've got a species that's filling up the planet, and they think, well, okay, we kind of need to move somewhere else. Let's go and do some genesis on that ball of blue over there, which happens to be the Earth. We're genetic hybrids. If you want call us alien, we're not really alien because these people who put us here, who are still here and who will show themselves, you know, they're not, if you want to call them alien you can call them alien but they're our brothers and sisters, you know there might have been some genetic changes for the fact that we've got different atmosphere um, but at the same time these other species because our, our solar system, the universe, other galaxies is littered with life you're very ignorant if you think that this is the only planet that's got life on it, for Christ's sake, you know. But I still have got these suspicions that there is a, the, 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 the two sort of like, top sort of like species that maybe inhabit the universe are, are disputing something. And I think that some of the corruption in the New World Order, the New World Order on the negative side is, you know, the dictatorial control communist we want power sort of crap and then you've got the love happy peace whatever well there's kind of some kind of conflict going on there i think um but i think the conflict needs to go on in order for mankind to realize that the world as it is now is wrong because there's still so many ignorant people saying, oh, you know, who gives a shit about 2012? Who gives a shit about the environment? Who gives a shit about da da da? I've got the latest phone. I've got the latest television. I've got the latest car. Yeah, um, and that's the problem. And that's the reason why maybe a big smack in the head 
um, will be the way forward. So we've either got to, as a, you know, we create with every thought. We are our own creators. This world can be that lovely place if everyone's in the same thought path. Yeah? You know, you can create on great scale, and unfortunately that's what the government does in a negative way. And once mankind stops thinking about self and starts thinking about others, we can create as a whole what we all want, which is peace, love, happiness, and no more. But 2012 is the start of a new age. There's no big devastation. Yeah, Planet X, um, which has been seen, yeah, is on its way into our universe. Great, if it is, then I don't think it's on a collision, of course. I said to you before, I think it might birth Jupiter into a new sun. Um, also, we're going to line up a galactical alignment. Um, we know that the centre of the universe pulses gamma rays every now and then, all these not very good rays, put it this way. And if our magnetic field's dropped, then our ozone layer and our protective field is not as apparent, so it could cause problems within our atmosphere which is happening now the changes are happening now you only have to look at england right and america america's financial system's collapsing england has stopped giving mortgages to people only one bank was giving mortgages the first direct i don't know much about this i don't watch the news but friends told me today first direct was the only bank in england giving mortgages they gave five hours notice and they refused to give anyone else mortgages so in england you can't get a mortgage for your house right what's the next thing Housing's going to collapse. Now, unfortunately, oh, so I should say fortunately for man, right, not for the people who are going to have negative equity, but for man, the government control with housing. And you take that control away, we've got them. People are starting to wake up to this crap, yeah? And it, it's about positive thought. It's about giving, loving, not judging, and not resourcing the earth. The earth is a living being. You know, you affect the earth, it affects you. I'm unhappy, I'm not happy where I am now, and that's probably why I spend most of my life stoned, because it's the only way I can sort of, and, and meditating, because I'm in connection with the earth. It, it, I hate the place, and it's because the earth is, the earth's crying, the earth's going, for God's sake, people. You know, we're like cells of this planet, yeah? And we're treating it like your worst enemy. You wouldn't treat your best friend or your mum or your partner like you treat the earth. It's all about, it's like silly little things like, I'm, I was one that used to buy technology all the time, right? I'm doing a phone upgrade, a mobile phone upgrade. When it stops working, I might get one. To be honest, I probably won't get another one. I'm selling my car at the end of the year, I've made that decision. Um, eating more vegetables, let's just say I'm vegetarian. I want to go and live in off the flat of the land but unfortunately it's near enough impossible in, in, in England um, I'm not saying it's impossible but it's near enough is so a few of us are going to have to get our heads together and how we can do this because there's a lot of us who are feeling this way all I can say to everyone is just spread peace love and happiness and 2012 take on board with happiness and in the sense of if, if, if in 2012 some massive devastation happens that near enough obliterates the population on the earth, well that's a good thing in far, as far as I'm concerned, if people are going to carry on being as selfish and as self-absorbed as they are, I'd rather know that there was 100,000 people who actually cared about the earth living on this planet and the rest of us dead, than having all them selfish people still living on it, causing the devastation and the corruption that they're causing. And uh, to me, uh, it's worth sacrificing anything for the future of our race. Not for the future of yourself. Stop thinking of yourself. Stop thinking of your race. We're all human.